Alright. What is going on everybody and welcome to the prequel to Life is Strange. Life is Strange before the st I believe this is the prequel to Life is Strange. It looks like it's a prequel. It sounds like a prequel. Uh, the music's a little bit different. It looks a little bit cheerier than Life is Strange. Uh, I did finish the main game last week. If you want to go check that out, it is in my Twitch archives right now. Uh, we did episode 3, 4, and 5. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of last week. And I have... My follower count has gone up five times in the last week. So, uh, if you're following along, you watch these episodes, if you're watching it live, whatever you're doing, thank you very much. Uh, hopefully, yeah, hopefully, you all had a safe 4th of July and a happy one. I had a good 4th and a better 5th with the news that, uh, Masvidal is stepping in to fight Usman on Saturday night now on Fight Island. Oh, I cannot wait for that now. That is going to be crunk. Hopefully they all pass their COVID test, because if they do and that fight happens, oh my god, that's going to be so good. But let me shut up. This isn't about UFC right now. This is about Life is Strange. Uh, the only research I did on this game is that this follows Chloe and Rachel. Uh, Chloe, who's one of the main characters in the original Life is Strange game, and Rachel... Well, I'm not really gonna spoil what happens to Rachel. Because some people may not have played the main game yet. Some people may not have watched my playthrough of it yet. So I won't spoil what happens to Rachel. But she is apparently a big part of this. Chloe's a big part of this. Uh, there's a DLC to this, apparently, where you get a bonus episode where you play as Teenage Max. I don't know if I'm going to get that. We'll, we'll see. Uh, this is also shorter than the original Life is Strange. I think that had five episodes. This only has three. But I don't know if that means these are going to be longer episodes. If they're going to take me more time to get through this. Uh, it's already been three minutes. I've been talking so long. Let me just make sure subtitles are on. Yes. Volume controls are all the way up. So I'm going to do a better job of not talking during like cutscenes and things like that. Uh, so you guys get to hear them. You know, I'm not going to chime in with my thoughts during like cutscenes or dialogue. Because going back, I watched my streams and I had like a bad problem with that. So I'm not going to talk during like dialogue unless it's like a choice, a big choice or something. So, I'll probably be a little bit quieter during the dialogue scenes. I'll at least try to be. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got. So, uh, let's get into this here. That is the bonus episode with Max. But I do not have that. So, we're going to get into Life is Strange here. Episode 1, Awake. Here we go. I'm jumping in. I, I don't know what's going to happen. At all. I've done zero research other than what it said in the store. And that this is a prequel. So. Mm -hmm. Am I going to have... Is Chloe going to have the rewind power? I doubt Chloe's gonna have the rewind power. Unless she does, then, like, that would be really crazy. Well, that train just rubbled my controller. Jesus. Bro, what? Hey! I can't 
can't way believe before she died. Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. Fuck yes. Mom. Oh, and oh, back in here. I just want to turn off my vibe. Because my controller was rumbling on that. Pissed. Oh. This doesn't look scary. Door. Fire pit, he motorcycles. We got that dude. We've got Chloe. If I oh, owed I somebody a thousand dollars, I'd be shitting my pants. Man. Or not. Damn. Damn! Mind your own business. I'm sorry. Can I, can I get a really vault? And, and it won't ever happen again, I swear. You can trust me. I believe it's just read art. But if I do it here, someone will see me. Okay, so I'll... No. Do I voice? Oh, we gotta. We gotta do that. We gotta do this. That has to be a Breaking Bad shout out. Definitely, absolutely not a meth lab. Yeah! <laughs> That's great. Oh, there's a lot of. Wait, what? That's funny. Alright. Um. I guess fire safety isn't exactly high on the agenda here. Okay. Ponder? Mom would totally flip ponder? her shit if she knew I hiked for an hour just to see a show. Okay. Um... I, I joined a motorcycle these? gang. If I had any friends. Call me your probably fit right in Nothing says badass like a nice floral... I log on lots with who? Oh, probably the dude right here. All right, bruh. Got that Oops, Samoan shit going on. You gotta let me in. Check it. I'm totally legit. It's not a bad fake, kid. What if that's my bike? Can't let him push me around. Should I go back to here? I mean, we, we, we could try that. Uh... That saw looks ancient. I wonder how long ago the mill actually closed. An old lumber car. Guess it's been years since anyone's actually worked here. So I can... Wait. So I don't have the rewind power. Vince the biker. Uh, so which one of you fucks is the biker? Or is there a biker around here? It said convince the biker. Where the fuck's the biker? Can I just walk right in? This band shreds so hard. I gotta get in there. Working on it, Chloe. The only information you've given me is to convince the biker, but I don't see a biker out here. So, I'm gonna talk to you again. Again? What do you want, kid? I've started a backtalk challenge? What the fuck? Did I, fuck? I can't see what that says because of the like bar. To be a teenager? I just want to see the band. I thought we went over this. Isn't it past your bedtime? Is that deadass war? To succeed, pay attention to what your opponent says. Oh, Is it past your bedtime, bro? Isn't it past yours? <laughs> Real cute. Ooh. But I still don't know you. Gotcha, sucker. Riding a Panzer tank. <laughs> okay, kid. I get it. You're tough. From the 
pick out okay. me. Girl. A girl like you with pretty, pretty flowers on her bicycle shouldn't lecture me on what oh. I do. That is a traditional Samoan. <laughs> My boss decides who gets in, all right? I was right. Is your boss yes. Follow up. Do you live in your boss's basement? You're you're not accepting no for an answer, are you? Nope. <laughs> and you really well, I don't care. What if I had You could have a flamethrower, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash in there, and I'd still kick your ass. Actually <laughs> hard to Okay, so that's a pretty interesting little thing. So obviously the game helped me there, like learn how that works, but Guarantee you, I'm gonna fail though quite a bit. <laughs> Cause, uh. Yeah. This is intense. Oh, shit. Hey, Delia. Whoa. Come, dog. Just follow the lights and the sound. Can't wait to get in. What's her name? I cut you. Delia. She does. Yeah. Me neither. Sober up, girl. No, no, no. Probably somebody we're gonna have to deal with. Can I take this? Twenty bucks, baby. Twenty bucks? That's robbery. If I need to get. All right, let's go back. What? Della Dip. Is it time? Frank. Hey. Chloe. I know your name, you idiot. You bought pot for me every month for a year. Look at that get up, <laughs> studs. You're trying too hard. What are you even doing here? They rock. How'd you even hear about this? Cut. The internet. How else? Serious? I was Of course. So you. Shit. Do I really owe him that much? Unless I find some quick cash around here, I can kiss my high goodbye. How about you spot me, son? <laughs> you know I'm good for it. <laughs> no way. I learned my lesson last time. Money first. Never mind, Ben. <sighs> Suit yourself. All right, we gotta find some. Water. Half those stairs are rotted through. Looks dicey. Okay, how? Well, how can you just chill when Firewalk is tearing it up in the next room? Hey, you guys got money. No, no, I, no, no, no. Sweet I knife. Stuff? Just like the one my mom refused to get me for my birthday. Look at people. Termination. Three hundred dock work. Their pensions cancel? Real tool. Oh, Sweet dream. I'm wrong. I need tools. Yeah. That's funny. Here, you got two hundred dollars. How am I gonna get money? Hey, bruh. You got money. There's gotta be a way I can get money. I can release the parking yeah. brake. No shit. This car could slide down any minute. Oh, we're gonna make that happen. Fuck Sorry, your money. Dude. Maybe you shouldn't overcharge. Looking for revenge. Shit. No, 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 no. no. Bye, baby. Oh, yeah, sweet, sweet victory. What 
was that? That's like 200 bucks. Oh, let's go! Steal the money, hell yeah! Is that the Illuminati? Holy shit! Oh God. I'm rich! The last thing we need is the fucking Illuminati messing around here. Um. That was weird. CV guys, I don't give a fuck. Oh, can I drink the beer? Think before you act, do you? Nope. So I want some weed, mom? bitch. No more loans. I'm not your fucking piggy bank. You're a good Frank. No, I'm not. Now, Bryce, you're cramping my style. Later. Yeah. Alright, um... Um... We're just gonna move it along. I can push through the crowd. Yeah, I guess I have to. Here we go. Pardon me! Get out of my way. While we coming through. Oh boy! You okay? I'm fine. Relax. You bumped into me, remember? Dude, that happened like 10 seconds ago. Uh, yeah. I'm apologizing. My to bad, him. dude. You don't know who I am, do you? Nope. Don't care either. And let me know how that works out for you, bitch. All right. Fuck you. Mosh pit is a no go. Fine. Maybe I can get a better view of the action from up above. Oh, there's new dialogue. If I want That's to see practical. the band, I'll have to find another way. Those guys are trouble. Hey, Frank. Maybe you can help me out. She returns. Did you see the guy I ran into? Like I was yeah, I know him. He works for Damon. Damon Merrick? I see you've heard of him. This is his place. Damon's a, a friend of mine. Where do those stairs go? Uh, up. Real helpful, Frank. I mean, will I get a better view of the band up there? How the fuck should I know? Floor buffs rotted all to hell, okay? No one goes up there. Fine. I'll see you later. Whatever. Speak those bands. If I want to see the band, I'll have to find another way. Those guys are. Oh, my God. Sorry. You 
should be more careful. It's a rough place. I don't like your attitude. you how unimpressed I am with limp dick assholes who get butt hurt over a spilled beer. I think she's calling us out, dude. She's gonna regret every word. Every word. Oh, this is gonna be good. I'm gonna teach this little punk some man. I'm serious. You want to see me get angry here? Because I'm getting there. And it won't be pretty. It won't. She thinks she can take you? was a fun little experience. Should have let her scream though. It'd have been radical, dude. <laughs> I love the rainbow middle finger. This fireworks going off, it's July 5th. Sometimes all I want to do is shut my eyes and tell the world to go to hell. Hey, Max. Hey, Dad. Another day in paradise. Right? Salt, Max. You've been through some shit. Actually, well, not yet, because this is before. Daily rituals are important. Even when they involve writing unread letters to friends who have forgotten you.
Damn, Chloe really is upset at Max. Hey. Hey. Seeing Firewalk live. The skeevy assholes. That girl. Was that really Rachel Amber? I smell bet. like cigarettes and beer. Better change clothes. Mi Mr. Sharky? Shark babies eat their siblings in the womb. Maybe that's why I'm an only child. Mr. Shark riding a unicorn as a kid, but then all the unicorns died. Why does that look like Lady Gaga? No more unicorns. No more anyway, princesses. Fuck this poster. No more fucking rainbows. Words of wisdom attack this don't wall. fail me now. Attack my own wall. Everything's worth a shot. Terrible news, my fellow Oregonians. Our very own Pacific Steve's famous crab is shutting its doors. Adapt or die. That's funny. Okay. <laughs> Bask, ye mortals, in the light of the glowy bear. I was so proud of me for winning that stupid science fair. Mr. Sharky, shout out. That really was Rachel Amber. And she saved my life. How was last night even real? Uh, a bunch of people we got familiar with. Uh, improve? How do I improve this? It's the periodic table. What am I doing? Better living through chemistry. Ah, I got it. I get it, dude. Wake Joint. and bake is part of a healthy breakfast. This girl is something else. Can I put this hat on? Long Max Silver traded her hat for beer and booty long ago. Why do you hate Max? Yeah, none wrong, man. Did I change clothes? Like, what happened? Oh, I did. Oh, I don't approve of this? Oh, it's the only one I can put on, so... Can't leave without my vitamins. How are you gonna explain that bruising? Uh, I really should get going. Ask Miss Arcadia. Computer? You're the only source of info I trust in this town. Wait, what? Who? What photo? Oh boy. I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. Alright, uh, is there anything else to do in this, this little room? Mom said I was too young to go. She was wrong. And it was awesome. Uh, hang on, there's still stuff to Max do. Max made me this mix CD years ago. And because it was Max, not a single song was pirated. Hey, that CD was in the, uh, the main game. As awesome as some of those shows with Elliot were. They were nothing compared to Firelock last night. Who's Elliot? God, I hope Shit. he. Who, uh... Where's my phone? God, it's not here. How drunk was I last night? Chloe, I said breakfast. Guess I better. I'm coming. My phone with moms. Why are we gonna do that? Okay. Mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. Okay. We can do that. Wait! 
All of our veterans. Sometimes you have to get knocked down lower than you've ever been to stand up taller than you ever were. Blech. Don't give up on yourself. A single spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. Better. Chloe very much in the Illuminati. Uh... What this drawer? It's weird that Mom's always hoarding these old catalogs. It's not like we have any money. Okay. Alright, we gotta find her phone. Mom's old and gay. Grade B? Fuck you, Arcadia Pond. Wait. Mom's selling her engagement ring? I mean... I guess... Can't yeah, believe we're gonna have to have talk to you about in there that. For her makeup. I made this for Mom when I was like 10 years old. If she wore it now, I'm not sure which of us would be more embarrassed. Phone in here. I hate that she hides all our old pictures of dad. Remember when? Never mind, I'm not gonna say what you we did. You don't deserve to be stuck in a drawer like this. We did some things with her dad in the main game. I tell you what? No! You don't deserve to know. Can't believe I used to sneak I in kid. there for her makeup. I kid. Uh, we gotta find her phone. Oh, yes. How can mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? Step douche! Come on, Chloe, call your phone. Sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. Hold on, I gotta open this drawer real quick. Ah, Mom. Bad enough that David comes here for dinner. David. Dinkleberg. Alright, where's my room? Is this my room? Where's my room? It's in the bathroom? It's not like it's in here. Oh, it's on the toilet? There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. Whose phone rings for that long? <laughs> that phone rang for like a good two minutes before she answered it. I got a message from Max. Dude, that's the third time. Chloe, breakfast. Bring my purse down with you, please. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think I saw Mom's purse in her room. We did, but I just want to... This one going here. Mom's hiding her gray some? hair to impress her boyfriend. Maybe gray hair is his kryptonite. Maybe I should dye my hair gray. And we do that later? Maybe, we'll see. Um remember her phone was in here or her purse rather was in here. <laughs> Dad. If you could see us now. Yeah, purse. Oh, can you grab my cell phone too? Jesus Christmas. I need to talk to you. Yeah. I'm coming. That really makes me want to hurry. Coming, Mom. <laughs> All I gotta do is write right him a loading screen. Coming, Mom. Loading screen. Dude, are we gonna have to deal with the Illuminati? Cause like, I'm not trying to deal with the Illuminati. Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. Might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. 
You tell me why I have to deal with the Illuminati. Dad took these ah. photos. Now that David's staying over so much, I wonder how long it'll take Mom to shove them in a drawer somewhere. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what Mom wants before she strokes out. Wow. And guess who has all day? Me. Sean Prescott's son, Nathan, goes to my school. Sounds like the apple died. Why do I suddenly want to get? This is Principal Ray Wells. Let me be emphatic. I have an enormous stick inserted into my butt. Thank you. Also, Chloe, you're poor and in trouble. I don't know why that was awesome, but it was. Uh... It's my job to water these plants, but it was Dad's job to remind me. So, we're already oh, supporting one. Thanks. That's real. Sh that's real shit right there. Dad always talked uh, about upgrading to a flat screen. Too bad that never happened. I would. Is that Max? You glad you left for Seattle, Max? <sighs> and never looked back. Why do you hate Max? Like, what? What did she do to you? Here. I. Wow. I can't actually remember which one. What did Max do to you to deserve this, this slander? Any letter from Blackwell is never good. Like, seriously. Mom doesn't want me to know, but it's pretty clear her boy toy, David, hasn't worked in like a year. I guess we'll have to talk to her about that. Um, is there anything else going on here? Dad's old swear jar. We spent the last of his curses on bus fare and milk. Alright, Joy, sweetie, that I'm word. It's just that when your mom works in a diner, you're not always in the mood for diner pot roast. Mom hates pot roast. Dinkleberg. Hey, Mom. You wanted to talk? Chloe, what happened to you? It's no big deal. I walked into a door. You seem to be walking into a lot of doors lately. When I send you a text message, that. Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. Sorry. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? She's a dick. Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. How about you don't you ask, ask me to grab the purse then? Yeah! I thought you hated pot roast. You can have a no thank you helping. No, you hate pot roast. I don't care. I don't hate it. And David likes it. And don't say you don't care. So that's what we're doing now? Whatever your boyfriend likes? You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Ah, right. School. My <laughs> favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame, too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah, I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day, I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you going to eat? I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that? Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? 
And I do know what pot smells like, you know. Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe I just need to be left alone. Maybe you're 16 and don't know what you need. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. You know who could help me? Max Caulfield. <laughs> I don't know why Chloe hates her, but this slander has to stop. Uh, David's an asshole. Your boyfriend's an asshole. He's been good for me. Maybe he rubs you the wrong way because you've been rude. He's still breathing. That means I've been more than fair. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. You will be nice. We'll say thank you. Are you serious? This is such... What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Oh boy. Be understanding. I mean, I kind of feel like I should say what I feel, because that's more in line with Chloe. But knowing... You know, you know what? I'm gonna be understanding about this. I know you're dealing with a lot. Thank you. I understand you don't need me as much anymore. But I need you. I do still need you. You're my mom. I'm proud of you for being so self-sufficient. But the whole world's not out to get you. Tell that to the world. You're impossible. But I love you. I love you too. Mm-hmm. Okay, David's waiting. You'll need to bring him his keys from the ashtray. Try not to kill each other. Got it. Unless he tries to give me advice. Or looks at me funny. Chloe. Or looks at me at all. Chloe. Mom. Have a good day. You too. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. Listen. The mom was not the problem. Okay? David was the problem. You're already supporting one. Thanks. Oops. From when Max and I spilled Mom's wine. I think the only reason Mom hasn't recarpeted is so she can stay mad at me. Or it's because we can't afford nice things. This is why we can't have nice things. Where is the ashtray? Oh. Here they are. She looked at them like they were poisoned. So can drive away. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. I better get going. Yeah. Stuff, stuff. Oh, dope. I actually have to let this jack off drive me to school. This is my life now. Kill me.
What a piece of crap. The car, too. <sighs> Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. Whoa! No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. Chloe, is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I got into my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Electro insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites Did you the not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. What is this? Quality like time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this out. Tiniest penis in all of Arcadia Bay. <laughs> Yo, Chloe don't care, man. What's David doing? Leaving stuff in our garage anyway. Does he think he's moving in or something? Why did that just cut out? That was weird. Should fill this with gasoline just in case David's car ever catches on fire. Yeah. The stereo used to be in Dad's workshop. I should hook it up in my room before garbage day gets it first. Dad's old camera. <laughs> Do they even make film for these anymore? Uh-oh. Mom's been cleaning again. This was the photo Mom took down from the living room. Guess we don't have room for it and David's mustache. David's lawnmower. Maybe Mom and I like our lawn the way it is. Ever think of that? You don't want to have a problem That's with this Max Caulfield. <laughs> he used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak or busted. Do these have chapters on hot wiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a cliff? Asking for a friend. I got a friend for you. Fifty-fifty chance I smash him in the face with this. Sixty-forty. Maybe ninety-ten. Let's just get him. This is a nice car, though. So? You find the socket wrench set yet? You can do that one simple thing, can't you? Hit you upside the head with this socket wrench is what I'm about to do. A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. David, this game invites exploring, okay? That's all I was doing. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Deposit. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. Eh. Whatever. I don't regret that. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. 
you've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. We're, We're gonna shut this down, baby! I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has to say. What's clear is fuck you. Language. You are way out of line, young lady. Language? Here. Let me put that in a language you'll understand. Foxtrot. Uniform. You've got a smart mouth, don't you? <laughs> Let me, me dumb, it down, dumb it down for you. For you a I mean, bit. sorry. What has fewer syllables than dumb? Hey, watch your... I can crap bigger than you, got it? What? Oh, that's what I smell. A giant load of crap. You... Your mother... You're breaking her heart. At least Dude, she has a heart. that was the second worst All comeback. Is, what's it called when you've got one porn stash and zero game? I was in the army. You will respect me. You're not, You're my, not father. my father. You're not even on the same planet as my father. My job is to make sure you and your mother have a safe and peaceful home. Do I come you don't to have your a job, bitch. And... Oh, that's right. You don't have one. If you were a man, it's I'd... It's cool. If you were a man, I wouldn't go so easy on you either. Y'all beat my ass? Don't know why I bother trying. Mission accomplished. What a victory for Chloe Price. I almost slipped up and gave him the victory, but I threw back the fact that he was unemployed. <laughs> because I nothing is a better gun. You sick? Dad loved this song. <laughs> what a beautiful day. Why did you leave again? This isn't right. Why have to kill you again? I know what a spark plug does, jerk body. Is that what we're gonna have to do? Dad, Millium. clean it up. Okay. Oh, that's the car accident that killed him. Ah. That's what that is. Okay. That's right, because in the main game, we find out that he had to go pick the mom up from the grocery store, and he got in a car accident and died. Out of the car, Chloe. You're going to be late. Got hit by a tractor trailer. That sucks. You know what? Shit. Thanks, man. Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with me, young lady. I can see you rolling your eyes. Uh, hello? I was actually saying I see everything. I'll warn Who are you, Randy Orton? Your faith has fallen, boy? Hello, uh, Black Hell. Oh, this is... Ah, this is school again.
Toad doesn't even have a book bag. Who that? Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? You should see the other guy. Guess it's true then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. People can eat a dick. Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. So, how about the Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? I mean, you asked, so yeah, maybe. I try to make it a rule not to go to school any more than I have to, but sitting in the back row and making fun of the drama kids might not suck. Right? That's totally what I was thinking. All right. See you in chem. Yeah, for sure. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. All right, Steph, I gotta yeah. find you. Well, at least not for now. Warren! That's my dude! Maybe this play won't suck. Maybe. That's my dude. The way How back. How possibly make it through a day in this place without a little chemical assistance? Alright, staff. I'm at the picnic tables. Skip! Hey, Skip. What's up, Skip? Stopped any gang wars lately? Not today. Oof. Looks like you did, though. Huh? Ah, right. Whatever. I did ask Justin Williams' mom to move her Mercedes out of handicapped parking. That ass. Yeah, you know how I roll. Skill? So, I went to the mill last night. Cut Firewalk live. You went to the mill? Wait, you saw a Firewalk? It was cool. Whoa, pretty wicked. I didn't know you were into music like that. What? Like good music? <laughs> Preach it, sister. I'm in a band, actually. No shit. Really? We're called Pisshead. It's not a big deal or anything. I mean, I mean I'm trying to get our demo out there, but it's hard. Pisshead, huh? Would you maybe want to hear it? Our demo, I, I mean. Yeah, yeah, okay. Great. First to eleven or anything, but what did you think? Worst thing I've ever heard. That was really good, man. If Pisshead came on the radio, I'd turn that shit up. Oh, right on. Awesome, Chloe. Thanks. All right. Skip. All right, we gotta find the picnic tables. Who's having a picnic? Ah, over there. Samantha! Hey, Chloe. What's up? Hey, Samantha. What are you reading? Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? I read that last year in Mrs. Hoyda's English class. I didn't think you did homework. <laughs> Normally I don't, but the play was actually good. 
What did you like about it? It's funny. It's funny. Uh, the title's actually a play on the song, Who's Afraid <laughs> of the Big Bad Wolf. And that's... funny? It is, if you're the wolf. I'm not sure if you're joking. Sorry, I'm a little slow sometimes. I'm a little bitchy sometimes, so it's cool. People always say that. But I think you're actually... Sorry, Chloe. No one says that that. I don't know what I'm actually talking about. I... What? Okay. I don't know why the audio keeps cutting. What's up? If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. Was this Dungeons and Dragons, bruh? I, I used, used to, play. to play with my friend Max. It's Max! Been a long time, though. Cool. Got my DVD. One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just, like, a friend thing? Listen, Steph. Rachel and I... What's it to ya?! <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join her game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? I have everything to do. I don't know how this works. But sure. What the hell? I'll play. Game on, nerd. I'll play! Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> Why's that funny? Are you insulting me in some obscure nerd way? <laughs> Think about it. An elf? Like skinny and kind of weird, but also a barbarian, so like really angry. In other words, Chloe Price. Wow, you two are a riot. All right, let's get started. You were both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land, now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you in greeting. I am Elamon. Wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Averno. Introduce like your shirt. character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named... Uh, Calabastia! Calabastia! Super into it. Not bad. The two heroes... Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscarred. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? I once stabbed a guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him, too. True story. You stand at a three-way crossing. To your left, the raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. 
Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgeron, the unscarred. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Frown. The Raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Where do you wish to go? Loot sounds loop. good. Let's go to the training ground. Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set orc who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field, all of whom raise their weapons and charge. Okay. So, I. Urgle's acid. Um. Kill. Bam! You conjure up a wasted that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like warm candle wax. Holy shit. You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. Fatal cleave! Okay. Let's end this. Fatal cleave! You swing your great axe downward with both hands. The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. Fuck yeah! I'm awesome at this game! It's going well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, it's unlikely any loot survived. Dang. Bruh. Don't worry, Alamon guy. We all make mistakes. Alamon, nonce. Calamastia, the elf barbarian, is most wise and forgiving. What's next? Guess it's prison time camp. to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You behold a field of standing iron cages, each imprisoning a human villager, calling out for you to free them. Only a small, elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you, and, in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. Ah, poor little guy. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Ah, oh, okay. Hey, shitface! Get out of there! The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying, probably isn't flattering. Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Not gonna intimidate him. Apparently, him. I have bread. Bastard out with- He sticks- Finding your offering disgusting. It well, says here, lock. I can pick locks. Can I do that? Don't accomplish anything. The gesture assume are Shit! Hell Timid have. Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. You can try. What do you say? Listen up, you little... lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common. Which means he can't- I cast communication on the dragonkin. Shit. Really? Now, he can understand every word you say. Time to work some real magic. So this is the skill challenge, where you try to use- Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He it's steps back, tough. his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? Those are dragons. That's why they hide in cave. Playing solo. Ken swallows the key, pointing at his stomach and then his own butt, laughing at you. <laughs> then he. I shove my axe through the cage, right into his stomach. Then I twist it and then out. His guts start falling everywhere, but I jam my inside his open stomach, grabbing the key. Yeah. As you free them, what's next? It's tent time. You enter the tent to find Durgeron, 
warlord of the raiders of the Black what Well, the fuck? sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak, gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. His laughter bellows. Wah, ha, 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 ha. Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's cataclysmic cone of fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgeron laughs again, holding up his right off fire. Fire base. Acid blast. Necessary. That, that sounds boss as fuck. What? That's bad, right? Oh. Not got a for one. me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock, collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey? Roll a reflex save. Oh no. Three. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Um, legs. Plural. Severing both feet at the ankles. This game is awesome. My feet? Durgeron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit. I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgeron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp, stomp, stomp. This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I... <coughs> wow. I mean, thanks, Calamastia. Okay. Durgeron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgeron laughs as he aims on his blade, lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm off. We're even. You feel your strength. Draining away as Durgeron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? Stood up, bitch. We gotta swing for get that bracer off, and then he can use his fire Bring shit. The one with the fire. We have to roll high to hit. Dead. Bloody. Fuck yes. Yeah. Bring your axe down in a wicked chop. Severing his arm completely. His bracer of fire immunity clangs to the ground. I cast Gignomi's fire strike on spear, which flies from your hands to spear Durgeron in the chest, incinerating him completely from the inside out. Damn, Elamon. Durgeron is defeated, but your wounds were too great. I'm afraid Calamastia is dead. I actually feel sad right now. Better to have died a hero, than live as a coward. That was fun. Exactly. Check out what I drew. Mikey's got serious drawing skills. Whoa! Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah. I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. The game, nerds. Nerd! DVD, check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. Okay, I'm probably like an hour late for this class by now because, like, I played that game. No regrets at all. What the hell? What have you got here? Yeah. Twitch. Don't call me that. True North. Oh, jocks boy. Dumb. He makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back. I hate that you're on the team now. <laughs> you're such a loser. You Guys, both suck. No need to fight. You can both be losers. The mute speaks? 
Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Ooh. Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. You know something, Prescott? I'm going to do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going Stop to it. kill you. You guys! <sighs> All right. Only because you're the only cool. Way to stop I'll a stop bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Idiot. You're not used to a word that big, are you? Don't be scared. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? Congrats. You've actually got me feeling sorry for Arcadia Bay's most spoiled brat. That's how much of an asshole you're being right now. You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. What's, you know what's crazy, crazy is that you haven't been held back yet. How is that possible? You want a piece of this? Piece of cake, bitch. Please. Kicking your ass is going to be a piece of cake. <laughs> Chloe just owned you. Fuck up. You shut the fuck up. Woo! Who's Samantha? Guess you got lucky this time. Prescott had two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. Are you okay? You think I need help from you? You're welcome. Are you all right? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think that's the family. Everything okay here? <laughs> no problem, Skip. This episode's got me asking questions. That dude is not in the game. The main game, I should say. Norris, Skip! So, something happens. This makes being high sound like a bad thing. <laughs> Evan's work is actually pretty good. I'd never tell him that, of course. Alright, let's go to class. That pick would actually make a sweet tattoo. I mean, if they get kills. Oh, good. You're here. Who are you? My ear is itching. Yeah, so that big dude, the jock, is not in Life is Strange or Skip. So I hope we find out what happens to them over the I course do of this game. You. Chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father. I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda, indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time had listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues... Hath I listened to... Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner, who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors. And most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. 
Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as last night. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Hmm, you know what? You look at me. I'm gonna say true love. When you meet someone who's going to change your life, you just know it, I guess. Also, you've got parents coming to see the show, right? At 20 bucks a ticket, it's gotta be true love. Wow. A romantic and a cynic. That actually kind of helps me. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later, Later guys. I have a freshman now. Look, <laughs> just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah, sure. It's okay, nice call field uh, is here. get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit, and don't, like, hey now, sharing is caring. I have feelings about this. Why do theater kids take themselves so seriously? If V Kate oh. what to say, what to say. Playing the part bitter, passed over, talentless hack. VC. Rachel looks so happy here. Who does, dude? There's Rachel. You're not the I audio cut. This to Rachel now. Hold on, is there anything else I can look? Times are hard for elite private high schools. If I'd known acting meant getting to play with weapons, I totally would have auditioned for the the Shakespeare is my homeboy. Is drama. No, Sweet it should be Life is Strange. Can I walk up on the stage? Oh, well, let me walk up on the stage, everybody. It's over here. Anything? Anything you can look at? No. All right. Well. Rachel gets the halo. Save my life. Get some ink. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta turn up the heat. Fuck you, hated. I'm gonna guess it's from 
Logan. Car? Must be a hundred costumes in here. <laughs> Am I the only student who's not in this show? Uh, Rachel? Yes, Chloe, you are. Is this your belt? Yes! <laughs> Thank you. Wait, today you're, you're gonna be lazy. Really like thanks. So, flower. <laughs> the belt instead. Perfect. I'll let you finish changing now. So I got a question for you. Do you know anything about Max Caulfield? Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. I, I'd never seen Firelock live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Maybe doesn't. it doesn't uh, have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Fuck yeah. Fuck yes. I was born to ditch. I hoped you'd say that. Now about that eye. That is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Yeah. Yes. Please. People won't shut up about it. Hold still. This is a lot of makeup. That's the price of valor. Close your eyes. Much better. Holy shit. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's do it! Still got the Illuminati looking for us. Sure, you don't want to just grab the bus or nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Well, what the hell am I getting into? There, I gotta talk to. Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. I guess we're not the first ones to hop on this train. I wonder what the symbols mean. Whoa. Nathan's dad is a Terminator? That totally checks out. P.I. I feel pretty confident there's going to be a dead body in here. I feel pretty there's going to be a dead body in here. Heavier than it looks. Yes. Hold on, there. We see humans, but no humanity. 
Everybody is somebody, but no one wants to be themselves. <laughs> Some preachy graffiti up in this train. We can change that. Human is another word for monster. Wrong? Is she wrong? I was She's supposed to read Huck Finn in English last year. Now, time. Price one. Green zero. Zero. Nada. Just another typical day, skipping school, with Rachel Amber. All right, Chloe. A freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here, so I could ask. Max Caulfield! Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? Call it Max. It's nice Rachel we're having. <laughs> what? I mean weather. <laughs> it's nice weather. It sure is. So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. Listen, she's gonna come back. And we gonna get into some shit hey, right now. so... I wanna say thanks. For pulling you out of school? No, dummy. Thanks for last night. Ah. If you hadn't shown up. Assholes abound in Arcadia Bay. I owe you. That's for sure. Is that why you came along? Are you suggesting I should need a reason to ditch school? I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well, I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Rachel, you gotta give me more than that. I mean, you just, you just out of nowhere Try said again. it. I'm going to need more to go on than that. Joy rides fun? Rides to where again? Life needs a little mystery, Chloe. Let's do something fun. Flirt? Because All right, you're going to give me the Rachel. I'm sorry. Wow. Too far. Well, I don't know. Give me the option game. Okay, something fun. I'm all ears. Two truths and a lie. What? I think Yay. we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is... A lie. Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Oh, I'm about this. I saw them do this on, uh, on Inside the NBA one time, and it was hilarious. So you know what? Sounds Let's do fun. it. You're on. Let's ride. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu? One day, 
I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay. <laughs> so, ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? New York. You seem more like a Cali girl to me. Damn, Price, not bad. Long Beach, in fact. West Coast is the best coast. I'm hoping wow. to make it again, so nothing to compare it to, I guess. Then we'll have to change that one day, won't we? Okay, your turn, Price. First fact. Right. You know how I remember that? Because in the main game, Frank told her, us about Rachel's dreams about going to L.A. So that's how I remember that. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. Tell the lie first. Okay, what are the options for truth? We're gonna tell the lie. I'm gonna say I'm in a band. Secretly, the lead guitarist of an all-girl Misfits cover band called the Misfits. Impressive. I love science. Seriously, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson is the shit. Oh, that's uh, that's highly controversial. I broke my hand punching somebody. I once broke my hand punching Stephanie Kowalski. At no way. Bitch took my yuhu, knocked her the fuck out. I see you like to write notes to yourself. Helps me stay focused. Also, sweet scar. <laughs> I told her two lies. I cheated. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. Okay, so she picks up. you say you love science, but you are failing chemistry. You're saying failing chemistry means I hate science? Or that Blackwell doesn't inspire your best work. It's a hellhole. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be real. That place is a hellhole filled with shit, where shitty people go to be shitty to each other and themselves. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel, though. Anyway. School sucks, but you love science. I'm gonna say true. Got me. Now, about this broken hand story. It's not that I don't think you could knock Stephanie Kowalski out. A bitch takes your yoo-hoo, she's gotta get got. Damn straight. <laughs> but, you didn't get that scar from punching someone. No. That scar is from a distal radius fracture. Last summer, I performed one woman Doctor Who homage entitled Angel. I know that the scar you've got comes with breaking your wrist when you fall. Like, from a skateboard? Yeah. I guess... six years ago? Seven. Well, shit. I always thought I was a good liar. Good thing you're pretty. 
So, let's talk about this lead guitarist business. The business of show. As much as I'd love to be a groovy to your all-girl cover band, the Misfits. I'm gonna have to call lie on that one. You don't think I can rock? On the contrary, you absolutely rock. The problem is, your hand is smooth. No calluses. You don't play guitar. Pity, too. You'd look hot on stage. Thank you. So, if my math is correct, you cheated. You told one truth and two lies. Maybe I just needed to test you. Or maybe you have trust issues. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. Seriously? Your dad's the DA? I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first, embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey. Thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game, I guess. You opened up a lot, that's all. It's not a big deal. I hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. But I trust you. I'm just not really into touchy-feely shit. But. I feel like I can trust you. Yeah? I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. There's something going on here. Wouldn't mind listening to some music. Hey. I'll share it with her. Wanna listen? So, clearly we're building the bond, the friendship between these two, but it feels like there's a bit more going on here. Not gonna say love exactly, but it's kind of building that way. It's very clear why Chloe's all broken up about what happens to Rachel in the main game. That much is very clear to me. Cool bracelet. I've had it, I guess, <gasps> since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. Hmm. Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. Sometimes, I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day, I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out! We're here! What? Where is here? Jump and find out! Did you say jump? Jump! Fuck it! I'm jumping! You said jump! I jump! The Illuminati knows I had to jump there. Because as soon as I pressed it, the Illuminati came up. There's been a lot more choices in this episode.
Almost at two hours already. This is just the first episode. There's three episodes? And then there's a bonus episode where you're with Max. I don't know if I'm gonna download that one. I might... I don't know. I'll see how this goes. I'm enjoying this though so far. It's kind of like... piecing together like their friendship. I'm definitely gonna play more, like, different kinds of games. Like, obviously I can sit here and stream COD or Apex or stuff, but I like games like this, because they're different. They're different from what I usually play. Hey, <laughs> it's actually a pretty nice view. Glad you approve. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us to play. Another one? I like games. Deal with it. This is one I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. So far, what I've learned about you is that you're into acting, lying, and playing games. What's your point? That you're either full of imagination or full of shit. Hmm. Let me know when you figure out which one. This game involves spying on people from afar. Luckily, we got some high-tech surveillance equipment right here. Let's fire it up. She's got the corner. That blows. Well, no. Oh. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, shit indeed. That was my last quarter. Oh, no. You. Quarterless. Damn. Hey, maybe I can MacGyver something up. I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh yeah. Let's see what you got. I'm a groover. Oh, that's your brother! Ah, okay, so that's your brother. Really wants to use this viewfinder. I'd love to get it working for her. Damn, that's an old tree. Wait, does this sign say butt rot? Yeah. Problem with it? Looks like this one might actually be working. Yeah, totally Rachel. gonna get you that quarter. Love the confidence. Would love a quarter even more. Right. The lonely oak looks lonely. Guess even trees have outcasts. Indeed. Uh, That's an old tree. Oh, we already looked at that. This whole day is out of order, but in the best possible way. Let's uh, huh. investigate. Looks like I might be able to pry it open with the right tool. Tool? Let's, let's do it. I'm not getting in there with just my fingers. Maybe Rachel has something I can use. Do you, Rachel? Uh, I'm thinking about prying open that viewfinder. Got a knife on you? A knife? Yeah. My mom took mine. Uh, no. How about a nail file? You know what? I, I'm willing to I risk guess it. Yes, you could stab someone with a nail file. Oh, right. Sh sure, let's try it. Ooh. 
Vicky, Vicky, you're so so icky. The thought of being around you makes me oh so sicky. Damn it! It always looks so easy in the movies. I wonder if I can find something sturdier to use. All right, Rachel, you got anything else, girl? Totally gonna get you that quarter. Love the confidence. Would love a quarter even more. I think there's a fire burning up in here. I think there's a fire, girl. Right, Dwight girl. Mueller really killed it with this statue of an explorer guy. Where are all my explorer ladies at, though? Probably at home, washing laundry and spitting out kids. Damn, car. Didn't have to be that honest. What this tire swing? If Max were here, she'd probably take a black and white photograph and call it Innocence Lost or some shit. Max Caulfield! Use this to get the quarter out. Living legend. <laughs> They're fucking Prescott, huh? Stealing a Ninja dedication plate day. takes persistence. I know why, is his brother's a douche. Hey, I've arrived. First got power, activate. Hey, we did it. win. That was enough of a game for me. Your MacGyver skills are second to none. Except, probably, MacGyver. Let's try this one, then. There we go. Rachel smells like Jasmine? Is she smelling me right now, too? Really should have showered this morning. All right. Give me the option to Here's shower. The game. You find some people for us to spy on, and then you and I will act out what they're saying and thinking. That's it. Ooh. I do that in my head during like every class. See, you're a natural. Let's give it a try. All right. What about her? Hey, what do you say we barbecue some squirrels when we're done here? God. You just have the best ideas. Okay, what about her? Uh... Loving this guy. What's he thinking right now? The birds! Don't mistake my shorts for begonia. I've been pollinated twice this week already. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. What's going on with these two? Child sacrifice! The Lord saideth, Thou shalt make a burnt offering of your firstborn son. Who are you talking to, Dad? No one, son. Now, lean into the grill and see if the fire started. Further. <laughs> Further. Wow. That was dark. Too dark? Perfect dark. Who else is abound? Sweet Beanie. What do you suppose she's thinking? What? 
Wi-Fi Nature's sucks. Wi-Fi sucks. Maybe there's a squirrel family around here with broadband. If only I can guess their password. We love nuts, 69. Dingoes ate our babies, 13. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're not done? This is fun. Who's next? Over there. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to hog the viewfinder. Who is that? Ooh, jackpot. Commence makeout session in three, two, one. Nailed it. Ah. Damn. They are really going at it. Prostitutes! Wait, you're a prostitute? But I'm a prostitute! Now who gets paid? <laughs> Rachel? Is there a hey, problem? Are you alright? What are we doing? Excuse me? Last I checked, you're supposed to be Chloe Price. Yet we've been ditching now for hours, and we haven't even gotten wasted yet. That's got to be against some school ditching rule. Well, was there a problem with what you saw in that viewfinder? Cause... Like, you wanna talk about it? Uh, hell yeah. The honor student wants to show the school delinquent how to party? Be my guest. How gracious of you. Like, were you bothered by what you saw in that viewfinder? Cause... They have a bottle of wine. Let's steal it. Uh, okay. Huh? Or we could go try to find a liquor store instead? No. You shouldn't bring alcohol to a public park if you're not willing to share it with everybody, right? And fuck it. I just want to take something that's not mine. All right. Okay. I'm going. What about it? Try to keep up. All right, hold up, girl. Um, can we help you? <sighs> oh my god. Bruh. Bruh. Holy shit. Talk about committing to a performance. Oh, thank God. Please, this girl is in trouble. Go get help. I need to get these two to focus on Rachel so I can swipe the wine. Who are you waiting for? Go! Sterilized. I've seen this kind of thing before. This woman clearly has a wound that needs to be sterilized. Do you happen to have any alcohol? I didn't see a wound. Look closer. In the meantime, I'll search for the booze. Hold on. There's something off about this. Are you girls putting us on? No. Rachel! Run! What the hell? <laughs> Give her that! Snap! Sockers! I botched that, yes, but it still worked. So you know what? The victory is ours. So, maybe your acting could use a little work, but at least you committed to the performance. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. What kind of option is that? I'm not gonna drink. Of course, I'm gonna drink it. I could use a drink after trying to keep up with you. Damn, girl! I am excessively sober right now. Right. You're just... Okay. Guess we're leaving now. You just downed that like it was nothing. Okay, yes. I botched that, yes. But... We got the wine... And we chugged it. All that matters. So you know what? That is a 
victory. This is a long episode. It's already been almost two hours. Over two hours, actually. I'd love to assume, like, that's how long each episode is. And I missed a couple of the graffiti, so this episode's probably even longer. We'll probably do the next episode on Tuesday, because I got my schedule's kind of filled for tomorrow. Whoa. Hey, check this out. She's still chugging that wine. What? Ooh, wait a minute. This looks familiar. Great. It's a pile of trash. Uh, yeah. An awesome pile of trash. Let's explore. You have fun, Chloe. I'm gonna go sit down. Rachel's been acting kind of standoffish ever since we left the park. What's her deal? Yeah, she clearly saw something in that viewfinder, and I'm really curious as to why. I'm calling you out. I gotta know what's up. I've heard that actors are moody, but... Wow, Rachel. I'm not moody. I just need some space. Is that alright with you? Okay. Actually... No. I thought we were having a great day together. Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? I'm not acting like anything. I just want to be left alone right now. I don't understand. What happened? No, I don't understand. You can't just turn on me for no reason. I'm sorry, turn on you? I guess I forgot. It's always about how you feel, isn't it? Sad Chloe's fucking sad again. Maybe you should try giving a shit about other people for once. Are you serious right now? Fuck! Ugh. Uh... Bruh! Okay. I still have no idea what's going on with Rachel, but apparently she gets smashy when she's angry. I can work with that. Score. What are we doing? Beat you upside the head. Hey, I'll give you a show. Check it out. I don't always drink beer, but when I do, I prefer drinking it next to an old toilet. Home run! <laughs> you couldn't have hit that Can I any softer. Sure. I asked you to leave me alone. Are you kidding me? I, I know you're the school princess and all. With the DA daddy and the perfect grades and all the perfect little Victoria chases kissing your perfect ass. But seriously, fuck you. Great. I'm leaving. See you around, Chloe. You can't leave! Watch me. Rachel, wait! Don't go! Why not? What's up? Girl! Because, because I don't want to ruin this the way I ruin everything else in my life. And what is this exactly? Yeah, this is basically my suspicion that something more is going on here, because... It feels like something more I mean, to me. Fuck. Are you actually going to make me say it? Say what? Exactly. You know, like, a friendship. But more. Ah. 
I know. Weird, right? It's just... Today was the best day I've had since... Since my dad died. And when I almost ruined it just now, the way I ruin everything, it made me realize... Whatever's going on between us is special. Come on, say something. Chloe, I... I... You know what? Forget it. This was really stupid. I mean, you're Rachel Amber, and I'm Chloe Price. It's not that. It's just hard right now. And I can't talk about it. Why not? Because I can't. I know it isn't fair, but it's how it is. Goodbye, Chloe. Fuck this place. Oh, what are we doing? Hell yeah! <laughs> Fuck this ball! What is going on? Why did she get all mad? Smash it, everything. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm okay. If you want to rip a family apart from the inside, it's important to bring the proper tools. Fuck you, David. She's Chloe is angry. You can't take your eyes off her. Who else do I know who fits that description? Yeah! Fuck off, Rachel. Yeah, what happened? Like, what led to this? I'm confused. I've never understood your hard on for cameras, Max. You took a million pictures of us, and not one of them showed that you were gonna leave when I needed you most. That was a cool. That was a cool yeah. shot, actually. Also, why do we hate Max Caulfield? Uh. Shit. That was a cool shot, too. That's a problem. I'm, I'm still kind of left with questions, though. Like, why did she get all mad all of a sudden? Like, 
something happened. Sorry, Dad. All the music picked up. You know what it might be because she's with. Uh, May I don't know. Chloe, you're really not being a BMF right now. Say cool. Put Chloe on Team Degenerate. Maybe I, she'll be our mascot on the Raiders Stadium. Yeah, things are uh, we're getting a little sloppy. How did she get back? By the way. I just called to tell you that I miss you, Mother. Dad dream sequence? Yep. Why are you crying, sweetheart? Is you gonna die, Dad? What the fuck? Did you see that? Because you're not real. <laughs> you all see that, I'm bird? Not... What is going on? That was on? weird. Yeah, did anybody else see that it's bird? Past is prologue and shit. That was Get weird, out. yo. Look on the bright side, would ya? You're gonna die. What bright side. You made a new friend today. How do you know that, Rachel? Do you know that, Dad? You're dead. I'm so lost again. This is a great series, though. Hey, I'm not gonna front. Where's my marker? Oh. There it is. Gotta say, that was some fight. A lover's quarrel? You <laughs> That's nearly took dad. your head off. That's what I was thinking, Dad. What do you care? I think these two. Sorry, sweetheart. I guess I'm getting into your personal business. I think these two are in love, or she's in love with Rachel. Not that anything's wrong with that, but let's do the truth. What's up, Simba? How you doing? What's the truth? Dad used to hate truth. it when I wrote on shit. Oh, wake up. Lucid writing? Is that, um, a lucid dreams reference? I guess I did that. Yeah? Sometimes, people need you, though. Fuck. Oh Even shit! They don't admit it. That scared the hell out of me there, Gabe. Don't do these things. I scare easily. Why are we on fire? Mitchell. Illuminati. Always sending stupid tractor trailers after me when I'm trying to have dream sequences. Oh, we just slept in the car? I did think about playing 
playing the Telltale games, yeah. I want to play the Batman one. I know there's Batman, there's a Walking Dead. I think I did the Walking Dead one, like, years and years ago. But I want to do the Batman one. I don't know if there are any others. Still kind of left with four questions right now. Hey, you want my shirt? Yeah, I think the dad knows what's going on. The, the dream dad knows what's going on. And I kind of know what's going on. Chloe's got a thing for Rachel, and it's more than friends. Is this still the first episode? By the way? Hey, Rachel, I buy the oak tree from, like, two hours ago. Why are you still here? You came. I'm glad. Yeah? Hey, I'm glad, too. I couldn't let the day end with whatever this afternoon was. Chloe... I want to talk to you about something, but I don't know how to talk about this. You can tell me! You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? The ones yeah. who were making out? That was my dad. Oh. What?! Alright. And that woman was definitely not my mom. <gasps> the worst part what? is... I'm not surprised. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just... I didn't know what it was. So when I saw he got a text from an unknown number asking him to meet, I thought I, thought I could catch him or something. Wow, I did not expect that. Yes, I'm sorry, so man. Crazy, Rachel. That's crazy. I don't... I don't know what to say. Neither do I. Chloe, I love my dad. I love him. And I never want to see his fucking face again. I, I, I can't blame you, man. That's... That's rough. When my dad died. I was so mad at him. For months. Rambo's as I pissed off as I am right now. Wrong. Because half the time I thought of him, I wanted to scream. And the other half, I forgot. Forgot that anything had changed. It's silly, but I've carried this photo around with me for years. It's from Mount Hood. My dad took me hiking there when I was 10, and it started raining, and I fell and broke my arm three miles from the car. I remember screaming like I was going to die, but my dad, he carried me down the mountain. I still remember the smell of his coat and how calm he was. In the sound of his voice, and I, I gotta comfort you. I'm, I'm terribly sorry about this. He was just so strong, you know. I, I felt safe. You trusted him completely. Here. Chloe, I owe you an apology. I 
or you want to? We were both kind of the queen of shitty. No, I mean it. Whatever's going on between us, it's intense and new and awesome. And you had the courage to tell me that you feel it too. And I treated you like shit. Courage? I don't know if I'd call it that. More like blind desperation. And maybe a slight buzz from that wine. I just want you to know... I'm lucky that you were with me today. You're a badass, Chloe Price. What? Remember that biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill? You talked your way right past him. You saw that? And those skeevy douchebags who followed you upstairs? You dropped that one guy with a bottle to the face. Only because you <laughs> showed up at the last minute and... What about Drew? When he was picking on Nathan? You got right in his face and called him out. That was pretty sweet, actually. See? You're the real thing, Chloe. I don't know anyone like you. Plus, you came along with me, no questions asked. Well, I don't really need a good reason to ditch school. I guess tomorrow there'll be hell to pay. My mom might skip grounding and just go straight to the death penalty. And my dad will definitely punish me with... Fuck him. Dad. Fuck him. What I wouldn't give to leave this place and never look back. What's stopping us? Us? Are you serious? There's nothing keeping me here. Not anymore. So, if I came to you tomorrow and told you to pack your bags... I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place forever. Okay. Let's do it. Why the hell not? Now that sucks. Can oh, you're down. You cheating on somebody? Thank you. Conveniently placed garbage can? series because like they throw in these really good twists I just sort of whoa I don't think we need to start a whole ass fire over this situation but Necessary. Who's this? Frank. Still eating them beans, huh? Oh, there's the fire. Don't even tell me that that fire leads to the tornado.
Jesus, what, we just let the whole town burn? Caulfield's fault, man. Oh, that was the end of episode one. It's all Max Caulfield's fault. She didn't leave for Seattle. To take pictures. 200 gamer score. Holy fuck. I didn't expect that. Oh, this becomes my favorite part where we see. How many times I was in the... I bet you I was in the minority on a lot of these choices. But we're going to say... 67% of people... Attacked. Hell yeah. 62% uh, of people were kind of choice, which was me. Okay, majority. 86% of people defended Nathan. Wow. I did not think it would be that high. 86%? Wow, that's really high. 69% of people told Rachel you were more than just friends. Nice. All right. I was in the majority on everything there. Wow. Let's see this. Only 41% of people took the money. Wow. That's interesting. 30% of people... Bought the pot. I'm, I'm in the minority on the, those. 43% of people read Joyce's book. Wow, okay. 59% of people... Put... The photo of him in the dresser. 94% of people did not slip money to Joyce's purse. I didn't even know that was... A thing. <laughs> so... Yeah. 80% of people told Elliot they would go to the play with him. Okay, that's that's good. Really? Only 34% of people told Skip he liked his, they liked his demo. Y'all are some dicks. <laughs> All y'all are dicks, okay? 69% of people did the tabletop game. Wow, I didn't think it'd be that high. Considering that was a very long scene... Like, that was at least, like, a good 15, 20 minutes? I didn't think people would stick around for that. 62% uh, of people did not sabotage Victoria's homework. Okay. I didn't know that was an option, but... Wow! 50-50 split almost on the love thing. 97% of people shared the earbuds of Rachel. Yeah, I, I figured that was pretty unanimous. And 95% of people jumped out of the train. So those last two were pretty much unanimous. Like, they did those things. But the first page, I was in the majority on everything. And then this page, I was in the minority on a lot of these things. So that's pretty interesting. I like that. Shit. No one steals from me. I want my fucking money. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't you dare start that in nine seconds. Collector? What's collector mode? Oh, hey, there's the whole town on fire now. Look at that. Everything is on fire. I was eating those beans. They're on fire. Well, that was fun. Uh, so yeah, that is Life is Strange Before the Storm Episode 1. 
good shit all the way around. I I wasn't the majority on a lot of the main choices, which is good. Uh, is in the minority on a lot of the minor choices, which is pretty interesting. But yeah, I'm probably gonna take tomorrow off from streaming because my schedule's pretty booked. But I'll probably be back Tuesday to do episode two. Because I'm kind of interested to see how this goes. How this plays out. What's collector mode? I don't know what that is. But uh, Tuesday, we will do episode 2, Brave New World. Probably about another couple hours. And then probably either Wednesday or Thursday, we'll do episode 3. But uh, until then, I'm going to go. <laughs> I have other games I want to play. So, uh, hopefully I can figure out how to save this stream, so that I'll probably- I might upload this to YouTube, I, I want to upload this to YouTube so you guys can check this out, but, uh... I'm gonna go bye-bye now. So, uh...